best of six riders have only four laps to get it done. Here is your expert dash. On the pole, ladies and gentlemen, from Flint, Michigan, riding the Crosley Radio, Howerton Motorsports, Kawasaki, number 42, flying Brian Smith. In the second starting spot on the Dodge Brothers Racing, Harley Davidson from Eatonville, Washington, number 12, our points lead of the bullet, Brad Baker. In the third starting spot, from Graham, Washington, on the Flat Track Live Southeast, Harley Davidson, number seven, slamming Sammy Halbert. Starting in the fourth starting spot from Oxford, Pennsylvania, on the TJ Burnett Farm, USC Kawasaki, number 44, Brandon Robinson. From Western Low, New York, starting in the fifth starting spot on the Scott Power Sports Saddle and Seats and Saddlebags, Kawasaki, number 20, Matt Weidman. And routing out your field on the Lloyd Brothers Motorsports Rams Burr Winery Ducati 749 from Coatesville, Pennsylvania, number five, Jersey Jake Johnson. Are you guys ready for the dash for cash? Four laps, four miles. That's $250 a lap, basically, is how it breaks down. So you got to get out front, got to do it in a hurry and take home the victory of the expert dash for cash. Track's clear. Here we go. We'll watch the Christmas tree. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The clutch has come out. Weidman with the hole shot. Number 20 drops the clutch and lets it go. It is Weidman out front now. Here comes Johnson up the inside. Jersey Jake Johnson goes short work. Baker does the same move he did in the heat race. He goes from deep in the field to lead him. Baker will lead him off a two. Now Weidman. Now here comes Sammy Hubbard slides into the third spot. Brian Smith way back there in sixth place, ladies and gentlemen. Is he going to turn for three and four? It's the bullet. Look at Smith go up the inside. They're three wide for second place. They're all chasing the number 12, the bullet. Brad Baker says, I want to win this championship. I'm going to show you how much I want it right here in Santa Rosa. It is Baker out front. Weidman now back to the second spot. Third spot is Smith. He's trying to draft past. No, hang on. Weidman just about flies off the motorcycle going into one. Still stays in the third spot somehow. Your leader, it's Baker on the Harley. Second, Smith on the Kawasaki. Third is Matt Weidman. Is anybody's racing the fourth, fifth, and sixth places there. Three wide for last place. Everybody wants to get to the front. It's Baker out front. Second spot. It is still Brian Smith. He's got to try to track down the Harley out front. Here comes Baker. Halfway flags are already going in the air. Two laps down, two miles to go. Bringing it back this direction. Here they come. It's Baker, Smith, Weidman, Robinson back there in the four spot. Fifth is Johnson. Sixth is Slammin' Sammy Halbert. Your third heat race winner back there in the last spot on the racetrack. Down the back shoot. Look at Baker pulling away. Smith trying to close the gap. White flag's going to fly this time by. That doesn't mean surrender. That means one more mile to go. Your leader, he'll see the white flag. One more mile for Baker on the 12 bike. Here comes Smith on the 42, closing in a little bit. Robinson coming up there to take over the third spot. He knows to keep his championship hopes alive. He's got to finish further up than the third spot. The fourth spot, every point counts. Down the back straight we go. Final lap. Thus flying down the back shoes and get up there by the guardrail. It is Baker. Here comes Smith diving in deep into three. Closing the gap, but it's going to be too little, too late as Smith goes to the high side trying a new line. Checkered flag's going to fly. Your Grand National points leader is going to pick up the dash for cash win. The bullet on the Harley takes the win. It is Baker. Smith going slow into the two spot. And the engine was off, it sounded like, as he came by, but he still finished second. Look how excited he is standing up on that XR750, and he's headed to the victory podium. These Harley Davidsons are running wide open, and this young man is on a mission to show you why he wants to retain that number one slot. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome him back here one more time. He is the number 12, Brad Baker. Congratulations, sir, on the Dash for Cash win. Got a little bit better start that time, but I uh, went to the first corner and kind of did the same thing I did in the heat race, just went across the bottom. It's not the easy way. It's really dry, slick, and rough down there, but powered through it and uh, got the draft on the back stretch on Matt Weidman and went in turn three and never let it off until I hit the checkered flag again. So uh, bike's working awesome. Uh, 
track's a lot of fun. It's getting rougher by the minute, so I think they'll probably bring the grader back out and hopefully bring the cushion from the top back down to the bottom and smooth it out a little bit, and uh, we'll be able to, uh, to get it on and hold it wide open again for all 25 for you guys. You know, they are saying that you could be, in the history of this sport, the third youngest young man to ever bring home a championship. How does that make you feel? <laughs> it, uh, it's humbling, you know. I, I've Ever since I was on a 50, you know, I've, I've got every single Grand National Championship there is, really, from the time I went to the first Amateur Nationals in, uh, in 2000. So, uh, you know, it, it's just been, you know, a stepping stones, and I've been, you know, getting them, picking them off right away, and it, it'd just be awesome to uh, get behind Jay Spriggs seeing a, a great guy, and I think it was Brad Andres, the other guy was one of his rookie years, so... Um, you know, it, it'd, be, it'd be cool to get it out of the way young in my career. That way I can, uh, you know, push on to something else in life, get some more Grand National Championships, win some more races, and, you know, see what else uh, motorcycle, has for, motorcycle racing has for me.